G'day there everyone, Uncle Jojo, great to see you all. We've done our fascia, we've done our rafters, and now we're moving on to our batten system. Before we continue on with our batten system, we'll just pin this one into place, and then we've got to put our cross bracing in, and then we can put our battens in. Between the cross bracing and the batten system, we have to make sure that we've marked everything out, flicked all of our lines, and then as soon as we've finished our cross brace, we can go over the top of that with our batten system. If you got any questions about it, you can flick them over later. You'll notice that I've marked this at my 600 center and it's from there, the batten starts from there on. I've put the nail on the blind side of the mark so that our tape measure sits over that perfectly and we get an accurate measurement the whole way running our 600 centers. If you're not able to hook your tape measure over, then just measure minus the thickness of the batten because we've got a 600 spacing and we've got a 70 mil batten then I can make this measurement 530 and then my battens from there on.
So there we have it. Battens are all in, all screwed down. We use a batten screw, flat head, uh, 75 to 100 mil, making sure that it goes into our rafters and then nothing can pull up. If we just use nails, nails work in their way with friction so they can work out with friction. Whereas a screw works its way in through tension, you can't pull it out. Well, not very easily anyway. Also on our rafters we've got triple grips in each corner. I've also run the cross bracing. If you haven't seen the cross bracing done, I've got a video on that, so check that out. Any questions or queries about running fascia, rafters, or your batten system, flick them over, I'll have a look at them for you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, and like always, stay on real banana pearl, and I'll see you in the suit.